Hi, my name is Sherry and I am a volunteer at the National Park Service. I grew up in a military family. Um, I always knew my grandfather as a strong and vibrant man. He was kind of the backbone of our family. I knew parts of his story as a soldier and as a POW in Korea. But as I got older and learned more of his story, I became deeply interested in the experiences of both my, my grandfather and the other men who um, have experienced that. When I moved to Georgia, I had visited Andersonville quite a few times. Um, loved it there, loved what they stood for, and decided to become a volunteer. My grandfather was a POW, like I said, in Korea. Um, he entered the war at 17, lied about his age, and turned 18 in a Korean POW camp. Um, it did shape much of his life um, and much of who he became as an adult. He was invited to the dedication of the POW Museum. Um, it was something he was very proud of, and he often was seen wearing his burgundy VFW blazer in pictures and when we went out. His medals stayed on my parents' bookshelf in a frame, so they were at the forefront of our childhood. His story is amazing, hard, and wonderful, as are all the stories that are in the museum. My goal as a volunteer is to continue that legacy so future generations never forget um, how we got our freedoms. I want them to know the hope, the strength, and the resilience that is um, soldiers, POWs, what they stand for, what they've given us. Um, my grandfather was received home very well. Um, in fact, there is a day named after him in his hometown of Lester Richard Todd Day, um, which is May the 10th. Um, and so for us, it's just a big part of our lives. And I hope to continue his legacy and all of the others who have sacrificed um, through volunteering.